Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. This morning in my sermon, I was talking about secret disciples. We talked about Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, who were both Jewish leaders, members of the Sanhedrin, who both followed Jesus, but they didn't want to tell anybody. But somehow at his crucifixion, something changed. And they were willing then to let the whole world know that they were followers of Jesus. And I just use that as a reminder that we can't be secret disciples. If we want to follow Jesus, we can't be concerned about maintaining a reputation or being wise in the world's eyes. We have to decide that we're willing to follow Jesus publicly or else we're not really following him. Let's talk about that on something deeper. In Luke 9, 23 and following, Jesus said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit their very soul? Whoever is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his glory and in the glory of the Father and of his holy angels. Jesus here is saying, it's going to cost everything to follow me. You have to be willing to give up everything in this world. We know there's countries where your whole, your whole community will reject you if you give your life to Jesus Christ. There's many religions where if you accept Jesus Christ, your whole family will have a funeral for you. In some cases, They'll try to arrange it so that they kill you first. There's a lot of people who give up so much to follow Jesus. And it's always been kind of um, inspiring to me that people are willing to do that. But then I realize we're called to do that very same thing. Where we are supposed to follow him no matter what the cost. And that means if, if somebody uh, is offended by Christ, that we still are willing to stand for Christ. I, I'm not suggesting that we can uh, force people to believe or force people to listen to us. But we can decide whether we're going to pretend that we don't know Jesus because Jesus is not popular in some circles. You know, nowadays we're so divided in our country that no matter what you say, it's controversial. Uh, no matter what the subject is, it's controversial. Um, so I guess it goes back to, to paraphrase that old song, you can't please everybody. So you might as well not please yourself, but you might as well please God. If it's going to be controversial, then at least let one person be in your favor. Do what God calls you to do. Be willing to speak a kind word for Jesus. Be willing to tell the truth of God's word. We are supposed to speak in love, but we're supposed to speak the truth in love. And so if we, if we get into a situation where Jesus is not popular, then I don't think we should pretend that we're not a follower of Christ. Um, you know, if they're going to reject Jesus, let them reject us. As I said in my sermon today, I would rather somebody be angry at me today because I tell them about Jesus then wait until the day of judgment and have them be angry at me that I remained silent and didn't tell them the truth. Let me add to that. On the day of judgment, I also don't want Jesus to be ashamed of me. He said here, if anyone is ashamed of him and his words, then he'll be ashamed of them when he comes in his glory. I want Jesus to be able to stand up and say, without reservation, yes, David is one of mine. The least I can do is in this day, stand up for Jesus and say, He is my Savior. He is my Lord. Let's be willing to pay any cost if God calls us to it. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for this reminder. May we be unashamed and speak the truth in love to a world that needs to hear it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. I love you. 
have a great night.